Hi, it's my favorite time of day, the time of day when I get to read a good book to you. Today we're going to read Happy Birthday America. It's by Mary Pope Osborne and Peter Catalanato. And if you've ever read a Magic Treehouse book, then you are familiar with this author. She writes those as well. It's the 4th of July, also called Independence Day. That is when the United States celebrates becoming an independent country, a country all on our own. And this is a book with some great illustrations about some of the ways that we celebrate in the United States on Independence Day. See if maybe you can relate to any of these things. Do you ever do any of these things on the 4th of July with your family and friends? All right, let's get started. Happy Birthday, America. I think you're going to really like the illustrations in this book. They're wonderful. Does that look like anything you might see in a parade on the 4th of July? On the 4th of July, Mom, Dad, Katie, Grandpa, Grandma, Aunt Beth, Baby Jess, our dog Bud, and I go to Memorial Park. We march around the ball field in the pet parade. I play a kazoo. Katie waves red, white, and blue streamers. Bud touches noses with a pig on a leash. From noon till two, I sell popcorn and pizza at the Pee Wee football booth. 50 cents a bag, hot, 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 a dollar a slice. Grandma sells raffle tickets for the American Legion Squadron 242. A dollar a chance to win a hand-knit colonial flag. Grandpa wears his old fishing cap. He sits in his wheelchair while on the bandstand, Katie tap dances the hornpipe boogie in a sailor suit with Miss Cindy's school of dance. Aunt Beth gets so excited, she dances too. I go with Grandpa and Dad to see the antique cars. We pitch pennies at the Kiwanis booth. I win a blue bunny and give it to Jess. Under a tree, high school kids paint Katie's face with stars. Katie and I have a sword fight with balloons. Firemen from five different towns fight water battles before the sun goes down. Mom and I buy barbecue chicken cooked on big racks by the Knights of Columbus. We have ice cream and waffles, then spread out our blankets for the concert under the stars. Jess crawls away, but I bring him back. Katie and I pile on Dad in the dark. Bud barks. Settle down, everyone, says Mom. The band's about to play. The conductor wears a red bow tie and waves a baton. During Yankee Doodle, his music blows away, but he waves on. Everyone claps to the beat of Stars and Stripes Forever. A girl plays a solo on the piccolo. Dad uses my head for a drum. Then a Cub Scout rings a bell 13 times in honor of the first 13 colonies. A girl steps out in a big green robe and holds up a sparkler. She's Lady Liberty. Do you know who Lady Liberty is? That's right, it's the Statue of Liberty that you can see in New York City. Then Mr. Sabertini reads from the Declaration of Independence. Then we sing the Star Spangled Banner. And when we get to the home of the brave, the first fireworks go off. They light the sky, a red and blue umbrella. Bud barks, just cries. I love this picture. I like the perspective that the illustrator used to create this painting. There they go. Ooh, ah, wow. Like a palm tree, like tadpoles like a weeping willow. Look how pretty Jess, says Grandpa, his first words all day. A moment of silence, then huge bursts of light, one on top of the other, 
and a million pieces of gold rain down on the trees near the flag that is still there. It's over now, that's it. We pack up to leave and walk back to the parking lot with the crowd. Dad hums Yankee Doodle as he gets out his keys. Katie catches a lightning bug but lets it go. Fly home, Sparky, she says, to bed. Jess sleeps all the way back. So does Grandpa with Bud on his lap. I look up at the sky and whisper, Happy birthday, America. Happy 4th of July. Then I blow out the stars as if they were candles on a giant birthday cake. And that's the end. I hope you liked this book and I hope you will look at some other books on this channel that you might like. Happy 4th of July, everybody.